Hello, this is Congressman David Scott, and I'd like to thank all of our participants and judges in this year's Congressional Art Competition in Georgia's 13th Congressional District. Welcome, and I'm so delighted to be a part of this myself. For 19 years we've done this, and it is one of our most glorious activities. So I thank you for letting me, as your congressman, be a part of this outstanding recognition of the artistic talents of our young people in the 13th Congressional District. We received submissions from various high schools throughout the district, including these, Riverwood Charter School, North Springs Charter High School, Eagles Landing Christian Academy, New Manchester High School, Langston Hughes High School, Eagle Landing High School, Forest Parks High School, Greater Atlanta Adventist Academy, Benjamin Banneger High School, Douglas County High School, Riverdale High School, Man, from all over the district. Isn't this wonderful? And I'd also like to thank the sponsors for the awards for our finalists. These are the ones that raise the money and give the money to our talented students. So we want to say thank you to Savannah College of Art and Design, Art Institute of Atlanta, Greystone Power Corporation and Georgia Power Company, High Museum of Art. And let me tell you the theme of this year's competition, and it is this, an artistic discovery, because that's what we are doing, discovering the great talent of our young people and giving them the recognition that they have earned and that they deserve by sharing their artistic talent with us. So as we move forward in these challenging times, I'm so delighted that our students have discovered their own personal creativity, their own passion and talent in the arts. That is where I, as your congressman, first discovered mine when I did oil paintings. And I won first prize in my art competition because I had just seen the motion picture, The Ten Commandments by Cecil B. DeMille's, and I got that picture of Moses at the Red Sea and the great parting of it. And I painted that oil painting, and I won first prize. And that's why it means so much to me to be a part and to have done this for 19 years. There's no greater thing we can do than recognize artistic. When young people go inside of themselves, into their hearts, into their souls, and create these fantastic images. The work submitted by our participants this year is above and beyond. There are outstanding achievements this year. And I encourage each of you to continue your pursuits in the arts and please check in next year for our 2022 Congressional Arts Competition. You make this so purposeful. God bless our young people, our great artists. Thank you. And now we want to go to the winners of this competition. But before I do that, I want to give a special thank you 
and recognition to the mothers and fathers, the families of these winners and all of those who participated because without that family encouragement, without mama and daddy and sister and brother, grandmother, all giving our young people courage, families are the ones that provide that support and give that encouragement in the midnight hour when they need the encouragement. So thank you to mother and father, grandmothers, all the family members who have given these students the kind of encourage that has pushed them on to express these wonderful, and I've seen all of the artwork and it is very, very revealing. So thank you, mom and dad and family members and grandmothers and grandfathers for your support of these students. Now, first of all, let us go to the winners and first honorable mention. Honorable mention is given to Alisa Healy of Fulton County, and she attends North Springs Charter High School. And she is in the 11th grade. And her artwork name is Hobbies Slash Escapism. Ah, what a brilliant title. You will receive, Miss Healy, two complimentary tickets to the High Museum of Art. And please continue expressing your talent. Let your little light shine so the whole world can see your great works. And now let us go to our fifth place winner. It is Miss Keeley David Walker of Fulton County. Her high school is Greater Atlanta at Venice Academy and she's in the ninth grade. And the artwork's name of her artwork is Riverwalk Reminiscent from Hatch to the Hooch. What a name. And I've seen the artwork and it is very fitting. The name goes right with it. Now, now Miss Keeley David Walker will receive the following awards. Her artwork will hang in our Smyrna office, my congressional office in Smyrna in Cobb County for one year. And you know, a lot of people come through there, a lot of elected officials, the media, and they all look at that artwork of our students. So you will be getting great, great exposure. And you also get two complimentary tickets to the High Museum of Art. Congratulations, Miss Keely David Walker. And now for our fourth place winner, and it is Elise Lane of Douglas County. And she attends Douglas County High School, and uh, uh, Elise is in the 12th grade. The artwork's name is Trevon Brown. And Elise Lane's artwork will hang in our Jonesboro office for one year. And Elise will receive two complimentary tickets to the High Museum of Art. Congratulations. Our third place winner is Martina Radiquez from Henry County. And Martina attends Eagles Landing Christian Academy. And Martina is in the 12th grade. And the artwork's name is Insomnia ATL. And it is a beautiful piece of artwork. And Martina's awards will be $3,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, and also a $1,500 
individual scholarship. And Martina's artwork will hang at Hartsville, Jackson, Atlanta International Airport for one year. Millions of people will see Martina's wonderful artwork. Congratulations. And now we will move to our second place winner. And our second place winner is Olivia Naquin from Clayton County. And Olivia attends Eagles Landing's Christian Academy. And Olivia is in the 10th grade. And the artwork's name is Little Like Lady. What a wonderful title. And it is a beautiful piece of artwork. And Olivia's awards are for as follows. $7,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta. And Olivia's artwork will hang in our Washington D.C. office for one year in our Washington D.C. congressional office. So the whole world can also see your great work and you all are really letting your little light shine. And now we get to the winner. The first place, oh, let me say, all of you are winners. Let me get to the first place winner. And the first place winner is David Tenga. And David is from Fulton County. And David went and attends Langston Hughes High School. And he's in the 12th grade. You know, there are two things about this. David from one David to another. Congratulations. And you know, this David had the pleasure of uh, pulling together, presenting, and help producing the award-winning film documentary on the works of our great poet laureate, Langston Hughes. And I did much of his poetry on that film. What a great, great combination. The winner, David Tenka of Langston Hughes High School, named after one of our most premier artists who dealt with the Harlem Renaissance. And the artwork's name is Lady. And the awards for David Tenka's first place winning is as follows. $12,000 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta. Isn't that wonderful? And a $3,000 per year scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design, renewable for up to four years, or that means $12,000 additionally. And David will receive two round trip airfare tickets on Southwest Atlanta to attend the National Ribbon Cutting Ceremony in Washington, D.C. And I will be there to have you join with me in the ribbon cutting ceremony. And you also will receive student artwork will hang in the tunnel of the Cannon House office building for a year. And that Cannon office building is how we move from the Senate to the House of Representatives, to the floor, where you see us on C-SPAN debating the bills, and everybody travels through the tunnels. What a wonderful display of great talent. And again, I want to thank from the bottom of my heart you students who dared and had the courage to share your talent 
and inner competition. And you see how you have such fine institutions as the Art Institute of Atlanta, Savannah School of Art and Design, all there, Georgia Power, all of these great companies that uh, are really interested in supporting you. And so that's why I want to say thank you. I want to thank your art instructors who help guide you. And I want to thank the good Lord who put that into your heart, into your soul. And we give him the credit for blessing you with this talent. Thank you again, and God bless all of you.